Big details today about how an eight-year-old Palmdale boy was killed from someone who says he saw it happen. His brother. He testified at the trial of his mother's boyfriend. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is outside the downtown LA courtroom with this heartbreaking testimony. Dave. What the jury heard today was uh, what a 12 year old boy remembers seeing his baby brother being tossed about, being beaten, being hit, being punched, and being forced to sleep in what he described as a small bed, almost like a cave. No cameras allowed in the court today as the older brother of Gabriel Fernandez took the stand. He's now 16 and was identified only as Ezekiel. He was shown the cabinet that Gabriel was forced to sleep in night after night. He called it the box. Question, do you remember seeing the defendant and your mom put Gabriel in the box? Yes, they would put handcuffs on the door to the box. What else? They would wrap a bandana around his mouth. Sometimes they would put a sock in his mouth. 37-year-old Isaro Aguirre, the boyfriend of little 8-year-old Gabriel's mother, is on trial for his murder with special circumstances, torture, which could lead to the death penalty. Gabriel's mother, Pearl Fernandez, will be tried separately. On the stand today, Ezekiel never referred to the defendant by name, only as my mother's boyfriend or the defendant. He told the jury about the beatings Aguirre would give his little brother with a belt. My mom's boyfriend hit him with a belt, he said, the metal part. Where? In the arms, legs, back. Sometimes he used a metal hanger. How often? A lot. He then said, one time Aguirre hit him with a bat. I saw his teeth get knocked out. I saw lots of blood. And he told the jury how he saw Aguirre shoot his little brother over and over with a BB gun. Question, did you see the defendant shoot Gabriel? Yes. Where? In his legs and arms. What would Gabriel do? Scream and cry. Where else did the defendant shoot Gabriel? In the groin. During his entire testimony, Ezekiel, who was 12 years old when he witnessed all this, never once looked over at his mother's boyfriend. He said he's trying to forget what he saw. And then he told the jury, quote, the defendant ruined my life. I want to get past it. During cross-examination, he was asked by the defense uh, why he and his younger sister, Virginia, who also testified, why weren't they beaten like Gabriel? He said, I don't know. But in testimony that the jury heard both yesterday and on opening statements on Monday, they were told that Gabriel's mother and her boyfriend thought that Gabriel was gay, and that's why they beat him. He was eight years old. Back to you in the studio.